Tonight, Hockey Town is remembering the life of number seven, Red Wings legend Ted Lindsay. The Hockey Hall of Famer passed away overnight at the age of 93. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us now to show us how Lindsay's legacy extends really far beyond the ice. Yeah, Karen and Jason, you know, his nickname was Terrible Ted, but I can tell you, countless local families think Ted Lindsay was simply terrific. In 2014, the Ted Lindsay Foundation donated a million dollars to Beaumont Children's for autism treatment, and the investment is paying off every single day. At the Ted Lindsay Foundation Hope Center in Southfield, hope is all around. <laughs> there you go. Just ask Miriam Bine about her six-year-old son, Roni. Even when we started here, we didn't even know what was possible. Um, and now we see, I mean, this, this place has opened up a whole new world. The big check from Lindsay's first gift hangs on the wall here. $36,000 that bought technology, including these special iPads. Roni, when he started, could not communicate at all. Um, a lot of anger and frustration in his part. And now... He's learning how to string together two or three word sentences. Um, he can say, tell us exactly what kind of food he wants, what toy he wants, what actions he wants. Can you say hi? No. <laughs> Did we mention he's six? Given that ability to speak has changed his world. Hi. Play what? To the staff, Lindsay wasn't just a picture on the wall. He was a frequent visitor. He was passionate about this cause. He wanted to pop in and see how those kids were progressing. And he was constantly asking Dr. Warner and myself, what else do you guys need? And we are truly grateful to Mr. Lindsay and his family and the foundation. He chose to pick a cause and put his heart into it and put the money into it. And look at the difference it's made. What a difference indeed. Thank you. Now, Lindsay took up the cause of autism after a friend's son was diagnosed. His foundation also pledged a million dollars to Oakland University's Autism Outreach Center, in addition to numerous other donations through the years. Gifts that will continue to touch so many families for generations to come. Boy, apropos that the line he was always famous for playing on was called the production line. He yeah. really did produce outside of the hockey arena as well. Absolutely, and you know, in the case of autism, one of the things he always used to say was that autism does not affect a child, it affects a family, and that was something that was really so critical to him. Yeah. Well, thank and, you, Doc. And by the way, as we do continue to reflect on the life and legacy of the legendary Ted Lindsay, you can head to the sports page of clickondetroit.com to read, listen, and watch more about the man who some say defined the Detroit Red Wings.